Down south in Hollis, Hello. Warden Cody Lounder responds to an animal distress call. I received a call from a state trooper stating that there was an injured fawn that had been struck by a car okay. and it was injured in some sort of way that it wasn't going to be able to survive. So what's going on with this fawn? When I saw her, she couldn't get up off the road, so the first thing I did was I grabbed a blanket and picked her up off the road. My first thought was check to see if it had any injuries. Made sure there was no broken legs, no broken bones anywhere on the deer. How did you guys capture her? She, some, somebody hit her on the side. Um, he had to go, but somebody hit her. It appeared to me that it just had been hit by a car and got a concussion, and that's why it wasn't able to get up initially. Which way was she headed? Across, Across the road, the street, that way. That way? Yep. OK. A doe will continue to look for her baby for up to 72 hours, and a healthy fawn belongs in its natural habitat under its mother's care. All right, she let's put her in here. And, uh... Lounder's going to see if this little one can get back on her feet. And back to her mother. We'll bring her up here. I got this fawn deer now. I checked its legs, and it doesn't have any broken legs, so the best thing to do for it is to release it, let the mother find it. To protect babies from predators, does leave their young alone during the day and return to feed them at dawn and dusk. If this one can get up and run, chances are good that the mother will find her by nightfall. Go ahead. Hey, when I opened the door to the cage, this thing just bolted out. I'm just happy to be out in the woods, and that just indicates to me that it's going to be fine, it's going to survive, and you know, it was a great, great ending. Thing was heavy. 